Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirect Hakai. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and use Kitty SSH client on Windows. Kitty is a terminal emulator that uh, can give you a protected remote access to another computer. You can use it to connect remotely to another system. Kitty can be uh, compared and has almost the same features and functions as Putty, but it has some features that do not exist in Putty. So, in this video, I will quickly show you how you can download it and use Kitty SSH on your Windows system. So, the first thing we are going to do now is to download the latest Kitty version uh browse to falseup.com this is the website name so once you are when once you are on the website search for kitty so let's search for kitty So this is the quick link. This is Kitty Developer Tools. Click on it. So you will see uh, the different versions for Kitty. You get to see uh, Kitty Windows Classic, Kitty Windows Portable, Kitty Windows No Compression. So you can decide to download any of these uh, versions. We also have some older versions when you click this. So, but uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using Windows Classic. So, I've already downloaded it. Or let's just download. Let's download it again. So, is it has a very uh, is a small file. So you can see it has downloaded. So, um, I also want you to know that you do not need to install it. All what you just need to is to double click on the file and the program will start running. So, you do not need to install it at all. So, um, what is the benefit of using Kitty without installing? It has some few benefits. Some of these benefits is that uh, if you are using a public computer or third party system and do not want your activities to be detected or traced, then Kitty is your best option. And another reason or benefit is that uh, if you do not have administrative privileges for installing applications on the specific computer, then using kitty ssh client will be your next uh, best option so there's no need for installation on your system so after downloading the file just double click on the file so let me double click on it now the file we just downloaded so this is the file So I'm double clicking on it now. So we are not installed. So can you see? So this is the Kitty configuration page. So this is everything about this application, this program. You can see it has a session under category. There's session, there's terminal, there's window, there's a connection. So um, this is everything about the Kitty configuration window. So we will now start uh, making use of this program now to connect to a server. So I'm going to connect using this Kitty configuration now. We are going to configure it and use it to connect to a server. So under this um, category, session under this session 
you will see host name or IP address. This is where you enter your um, server IP or the host name. Then port, the default port for the SSH is uh, 22. Then um, under the connection type, make sure you select SSH. Then you can leave this drop down on telnet. Then under yeah. this uh, save sessions new folder, you can give your session a name so that you do not need to be entering all these uh, um, IP, all this configuration once again. So once you enter it and save it, you can make use of it again. So, all what you just need is to click save. And if you want to load it, you load it and uh, enter any other details you want to uh, add. So, now um, we'll be making use of uh, Amazon Linux server. So we are going to set up uh, an instance server now so that we can try and connect to it. So let me create an instance server. So this is my AWS uh, account. So let's create an EC2 server. So let's quickly create server. So let me just give this a name. So that's the name. Then um, is Amazon Linux server. Then what other is a free tier? Then we need this um, key pair. Let's create a new key pair. So I'm going to select this dot ppk. That's what we are going to make use of. That's the key we are going to use to authenticate the SSH. So let me just create key pair now. So the key pair have been downloaded already, is on my system now. So um, allow SSH traffic from, yes, this is fine. So I think we are good to go. So let me just, let me launch. So I'm going to launch the server now. And we are now going to make use of uh, the SSH client to connect to it. So let's see the instances. So this is the server I just created. So let me, so we have our IP ready. So this is the server IP, this 13.60, that is the public IP, that's what we are going to make use of. So um, I'm going to copy this now. I'm going to copy this, then I will go into our kitty configuration and start 
the normal configuration setup so that we can make use of this kitty and connect to our Amazon Linux server. So let me paste the IP now. So that is the IP. Do not forget that uh, we've uh, saved the session before. So let me load this here. I've loaded the session now. So let me just update it. So that is the IP address. Then what other things do we need? Just save the session again. So let's try and connect now. So all what you just need is to click on open. Let's see whether we'll be able to connect successfully to the server. Let me click open. So you are going to get this. So what you just need to click on is to accept it. Click accept. So to get the login, the username out, um, inside my instance summary, you will see the connect button here. Click on it. You get to see the username here. This is the username we are going to make use of for this server. EC2 dash user. So let us enter it now. EC2 user. Let us hit enter. So we are getting this fatal error due to the fact that um, we have not uh, make use of the key pair we created the other time. So I'm supposed to uh, make use of that key pair to authenticate our connection to this server. So let me quickly show you how to use the key pair now that we downloaded earlier on. So let me close this. I'm going to launch. So inside the kitty configuration, just uh, you go to under connection, you will see SSH, click on it. You can expand it. Let's expand this SSH. So under the SSH, you will see hot A U T H. Click on that then you will see private key file for authentication so we are going to browse to where we save that uh, key now let me let's open okay let me browse there so we are browsing there now so it's, this is this is the key just double click on it so once you double click on it is going to display here so just go back to your session go back to your session um let's load it so now let's try try and open again let's try and connect again so i'm going to enter the username once again ec ec2 user then i'm going to hit the enter key still showing this um, i think there's one more thing we need to do okay so i think is uh i did not save Let, let's go back let's go back to i need to load it and save that file on it so i've not done that so let's load this first let's load it aha so i will now go back to the ssh let me expand it now let me expand this no i don't need to expand this just click on it so let me browse to the key 
so under the session now let's save it so we have saved the key under this particular session now so now let's try and open it now so i'm going to enter the user now ec2 user so i'm going to hit the enter key now so can you see we've been able to authenticate with the public key that we created earlier on and we are inside our amazon linux server right now this is a private ip so we are inside it now we are inside our linux server now so can you see how easy and uh, fast we can make use of this kitty ssh client to access any of your server so it's pretty easy so i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching